east to the Alabama-Florida state line. And we want to see how Gustav is affecting you. Send us your pictures and videos at weatherwarriors at weather.com. Welcome back. It's 20 past, meaning it's time for the weekly planner. But of course, before we get it started, I want to show you the progression of the next headshot or a tease. And good evening, everyone, from Homo, Louisiana, where we continue to watch a pretty rapidly moving squall line head our way, and with it, some strong winds and some heavy rainfall, just a sign of things to come here in southern Louisiana. And good evening, I'm meteorologist Mike Bettis live in New Orleans waiting for Gustav to make a landfall. But ahead of that, the possibility of tornadoes with a tornado warning in effect for parishes in the New Orleans metro area. I'll have an update on that and what you can anticipate with Gustav when he makes landfall tomorrow. And we are in storm alert tonight as we track the very powerful and very dangerous Hurricane Gustav. Welcome back. I'm Paul Goodloe. And I'm Alexandra Steele. Gustav is barreling toward the Gulf Coast, now moving northwest at 17 miles per hour. After pummel... All right, thanks, Paul. Well, in addition to the rain and the flooding and the winds and the surge, also tornadoes, certainly a probability with hurricanes. That's why we bring in our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Ford. You're watching the Weather Channel, your hurricane authority. The Weather Channel has crews all over the Gulf Coast as we continue to track powerful and dangerous Hurricane Gustav. Jim Cantori live in Homa, Louisiana in New Orleans. We have Jeff Morrow, Mike Bettis and Julie Martin monitoring the storm. And Joma Duran and Stephanie Abrams reporting on Gustav from Morgan City, Louisiana. We're in storm alert mode because Hurricane Gustav is bearing down across the Gulf Coast and about to make landfall within the next uh, 10 to 15 hours. Anytime you have a hurricane or tropical storm, get close to land. Reporting live. Stay with us as we continue to track powerful Category 3 Hurricane Gustav from Louisiana to Mississippi. Evacuations are been and are in full swing tonight. Hundreds of buses loaded with evacuees have already left New Orleans. As bad with Hurricane Gustav, a Category 3 as it's coming ashore. And remember, Hurricane Katrina, that was a Category 3 as well. You're watching the Weather Channel, your hurricane authority. should see us. Landfall on the Louisiana coastline. What does that mean for places like New Orleans? I'm meteorologist Mike Bettis. I'll let you know what to expect the rest of the day and bring you an update on the levee system here in the Crescent City. That's straight ahead in a live report. Hurricane Gustav is making a landfall as a major hurricane still packing. We are in storm alert here at the Weather Channel. We continue to cover Hurricane Gustav, still a Category 2 hurricane, packing winds of 110 miles per hour. You are watching the Weather Channel, your Hurricane Authority. We have live team coverage from Gustav's... Hurricane Gustav is raking across the Gulf Coast. The levees in New Orleans so far have held. Now it's been topping, but they're holding. Of course, we're tracking Gustav, the complete team coverage across the Gulf Coast. Here along the Mississippi Gulf Coast, we've had minimal damage. Surge has not been a major issue, and everybody's happy about that. We'll talk about the one further impact we're dealing with, which will continue for a while. 
That's all coming up. But first, let's head down to uh, New Orleans and Julie Martin. Julie? And I'm here along the Industrial Canal, Mike, a site of major concern earlier in the day. I'll tell you how this levee held up to more than 12 feet of water. <laughs> This is a special edition of Weather Center. We're in storm alert right now. Hurricane Gustav made landfall a few hours ago here in Louisiana. But the danger, folks, it's not over. We have tornado. This video just into us, of course, from Morgan City, Louisiana, just west of the New Orleans area on Highway 90. We've had reports of very heavy rain in the area as we continue to watch the center of circulation associated with Hurricane Gustav made landfall several hours ago in southeastern Louisiana and now it's on its way to the north and west and will move right across the state of Louisiana into the northwestern part of the state as we go through the next 10 hours or so. So locally heavy rain, that will be the story in Louisiana. Hello and welcome back to Weather Center. Thanks for joining us. We are in storm alert here, of course, because of Gustav. And as often happens, Gustav has been... You're watching the Weather Channel, your hurricane authority. And good afternoon, everyone from Homa, Louisiana. This is site one of what is going to be a very, very long couple of weeks as we are basically facing an assault from the tropical Atlantic Basin. Wait till you see what's coming in the pipeline here for the United States. We'll give you a live report of what Gustav did to this area coming up. Hurricane Gustav is raking across the Gulf Coast. The levees in New Orleans have been topped, but so far they are holding. We're tracking Gustav with complete team coverage across the Gulf Coast. Hurricane Gustav made landfall in Cocodri, Louisiana today, but areas of the Gulf from Florida to Texas felt the effects. Gusts in Gulfport, Mississippi reached 76 miles per hour. There are reports of gusts on the Gulf Coast that reached 100 miles per hour. And right now, I want to bring you the latest information on Hurricane Gustav, and it is still a hurricane. 80 mile per hour sustained winds right now, still moving on towards the northwest. It has slowed down to 10 miles per hour and this slowing will actually increase the rain and flood threat not only today but actually through Tuesday even into Wednesday maybe even Thursday across portions of the Arklatex. Alexandra? All right Paul thank you very much.